Welcome back. Well, Evie and I got lucky enough to head back to Johnson County this week to check out a restaurant. That's right. Ned Shed has been a staple in Vienna for many, many years. In today's brick and mortar, we got to learn all about the history behind this little burger joint. Hello there. Well, in this week's Brick and Mortar, Dave and I visited Vienna again. We get the, tr the double threat here after last week. We get this week at Ned's Shed serving up some really tasty, delicious food. And we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, we're with Angie Breeden. She was one of three owners, you and your husband, and then a Ross Webb yep. owned the place. So I guess you said you've owned it since 2012. So where did, but it, the history behind it goes way, way right. back. Yes, 1953, Ned Gillespie, owner, founder. Ran it till 1970, okay. and then a Rosemary and Wayne O'Keefe ran it through the 80s, and then the 80s there was another family. So there's been about five families that have ran it through the last 67 years. Okay. So I've been doing it for the last eight. This is and this is Vienna homegrown hometown. This is this is the spot for locals and anybody from coming from out of town. Correct. Yeah. Well, Route 45 is you know. It used to be a big highway because the interstates weren't here back in the 50s. So Ned's was super hopping then. But now I have my sign on the interstate at exit 16. Okay. So I meet a lot of people from out of town. Awesome. They hit to get gas and then they come to the mom and pop shop. I love it. So tell us a little bit about what you serve here because I'm, I'm, we've got a menu. Yep. And it's also got the memorial here for Ned. Correct, yep. Gillespie here, but the menu has got quite a large variety. Yes, we do burgers, we do fries, our fries are amazing, and barbecue. I have a fried bologna sandwich, which is to die for. All the deep fried things are actually deep fried in peanut oil, mm. so that makes it even more yummy. Yeah. Uh, seasoned salt. That's one of our secrets there. And of course the relish. Okay, we gotta get a shot of this relish. And I know that there's some in that refrigerator behind you with your own sticker on it. Yep. But this is the relish. So tell me about the relish. Well, the relish was um, Ned Gillespie and Lena Bean's recipe. Okay. They had gone to a county fair here in Vienna and there was a gentleman selling it and he wouldn't give them the recipe. So they bought some, they brought it back here to the restaurant, dissected it, and then there it is. Oh my Ned gosh. Shed's relish. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Yep. Oh, you're okay, not doing so I'm gonna it try wrong. the I'm <laughs> Now she just cut this up, so oh, in this fancy machine in the back there. And the homemade sauce. Yep, sauce is homemade too. Oh my gosh, yeah. Now I know that <clears throat> this is a spot one of my photogs there at the station actually loves. Oh, yeah. What's he different the about the relish is it's a cabbage-based mm -hmm. relish. And you can Most um, relishes are pickle-based, okay. but this is cabbage. That's mm -hmm. what makes it different. You're Pretty speaking cool. our language, oh, Angie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have more to come. We got to do fries, we got to mm -hmm. do burgers, and we got to do a bottle of ski. I'm going to let Dave take that over. I might have right. to enjoy this for a moment while he's talking about the barbecue. I'll gladly take one for the team on this. <laughs> We're talking about burgers and fries. I can't wait to show you this. We're in Vienna. We'll see you at 6. Well, Angie told us they often have specials during the week. And That's it, true. Good food. We were sitting there kind of going back and forth on that plate with the with the slaw and the sauce. And the, the barbecue, and the, oh. the relish in the, uh, oh, that's right, and the, the, the barbecue pork. It was very, very good. Now, they're not open every day of the week, though, so <laughs> no. you have to catch them on their days open. But we'll have all that information up on our website after the show. We even brought a burger back for... Nick, so he did get a chance thrilled. to try it. Yes, I was <laughs> thrilled about it. Yeah, you know, Ned's Shed, it's one of those places in Vienna, you know, you go down there, you go to the Tunnel Hill Trail, you yeah. hop on, yep. and you just got to stop. You got to stop in, yeah. It's a neat little place, and there's way more seating in there than you would think. It smells good in there. She, she fixed this up real good. They uh, were very wonderful. I love a good burger and fries. <laughs>